Hi, this is Dr. Lori Friesen, and you're listening to episode number two of Beginning Teacher Talk. Look, there is no reason that you need to struggle as a beginning elementary teacher. I'm dedicated to being the mentor for you that I wish I had when I first started teaching. In this podcast, we talk about all of the behind the scenes stuff about teaching you really need to know, but didn't learn when you were in university. And we share the most amazing resources, tips and strategies out there. So you can be the teacher you've always dreamed of being. Let's start the show. Well, hello and welcome. I am so excited that you're here. This is your host, Dr. Lori Friesen. And again, you're at the Beginning Teacher Talk podcast, episode number two. It's kind of a weird time to be starting a podcast because I know you're just coming off of parent-teacher conferences or you're likely just finishing that and, oh, you must be exhausted. I know I know how that feels. But because you're so tired and you're just so like done, this is actually the perfect time to teach you this amazing strategy for how I reduced overwhelm almost every day so I could be the teacher for my students that I really wanted to be. Like, I don't know if you're like me, but I remember days in my classroom when the pressure and the overwhelm just felt unbearable, especially as a beginning teacher. When I I just couldn't take it anymore, I didn't know what the answers were, and I just wanted to close the door on everyone and everything and cry because I just didn't know what to do. I, I didn't know how to handle everything that was coming at me all the time. And if this feels like your experience, I want you to know that it's completely normal. It's completely normal and you're not alone. We've all been there and I promise you it gets better. It does get easier. As you already know, I mean, probably all too well by now, we've chosen a profession that is undoubtedly one of the most challenging careers out there. I mean, who knew that something as simple as going to the bathroom was going to be this complicated? What? I can't even leave to pee? (laughs) And I will likely never enjoy a hot cup of coffee ever again. Like, I don't even know where my mug is most of the time. (laughs) But here's the thing. It's also the most amazing career in the world, right? The hugs. Oh, and reading a story aloud, especially in the, the lower grades, if you're reading a story aloud and you're literally wearing second graders by the time you get up at the end, because, you know, they're all kind of crept around your legs. and They're, they're grabbing onto your legs. It's just, I don't know, that genuine love and that genuine outpouring of gratitude and closeness with kids. It's just really, there's nothing like it. The light bulb moments, you know, when those kids who are stuck, they finally get it. And the realization that you truly have the capacity to change lives every single day. Like that's amazing. And that you have, you are literally one of the most important people in these children's lives. So like who gets that, right? Like who gets that awesome privilege? But the fact is, your overwhelm is not your fault. Like just being a teacher, the nature of teaching is like having a bipolar relationship with yourself. It can be equally horrible and awesome all at once. Like I once had a relationship that's kind of like that, but you know what I mean? It can be amazing and horrible all at once. It's like the most confusing profession in the world. I get it. And the reality is that the very reason that you're such an incredible teacher, and I already know you're an incredible and dedicated teacher because you're here, you're searching for answers, you're dedicated to learning, you're trying to be the very best teacher you can possibly be. So the same reason you're such an incredible teacher is the reason you're feeling completely overwhelmed. And it's this, it's just that you care so much about your kids, right? You care so much. And so you try to keep doing so much, but you also know that something needs to change. You're likely here because you're feeling like you're about to go for some kind of an edge and you need to do something about it, but you don't have the time to do it, like to take care of yourself. I know you're feeling because I've been there, but then one day I had my own light bulb moment. 
when I was on vacation, and this is probably, you know, when I have my biggest aha moments, you might be just like that. And I was on the plane, I was on an airplane and the stewardess got up and did that stupid ox- oxygen mask demonstration they do. And, you know, that stupid little, little plastic yellow mask with the little tiny elastics. And she's trying to tell you how this is going to save your life. I'm like always very skeptical of that. But anyway, then she said that sentence that honestly, I secretly judge her for every time. Usually it's a female, but I'm judging the stewardess for this when she says, put on your own mask first before helping anyone else, including a child. Okay. I was, I'm horrified because of course our number one priority is always the kids, right? Our number one priority is always our students. But then I realized (laughs) she's actually right. I mean, you can't save anybody else if you're already dead, right? (laughs) You can't give what you don't have. If you don't have oxygen yourself, you can't, you can't help anybody else. So if you aren't full yourself, how can you possibly be fully present for your students? If you run out of oxygen because you're so busy helping everybody else, who's going to save you? So in that moment, things kind of shifted for me. That awful stewardess who was so busy judging was actually right. And from that point on, I realized that something really did have to change and that nobody was going to give me permission to do anything for myself. That was going to have to come from me. I was going to have to give myself permission. And so when I came back to my classroom after vacation, you know, all filled up and relaxed and feeling like I could take on the world again, I decided to work on giving myself a daily gift. And looking back, I now understand that honestly, I think it changed my life. I know it made me a better teacher. So here's what I did and how you can do it too. Every day at lunchtime, I did the unthinkable. I played hooky. I closed the door and locked my door so no one else could come in. I turned off the lights and I sat in a space in my classroom where nobody could see me. (laughs) Probably looked like a crazy person. (laughs) Then I set my timer for seven minutes and I dreamed. Now, I don't know where it'll be for you if you try this, but one of my favorite places to escape, one of my favorite places to escape to is the cliched tropical island. I've lived in a lot of exotic places in the world, but there are few places that settle my soul the way a hammock in the shade on a warm, sultry day can. And I spent that indulgent seven minutes in pure bliss, letting my mind rest and my spirit to be filled up with warmth and sunshine. Now, I know immediately your mind is likely filling with no less than 101 reasons why you can't do this. But I'd like to invite you instead to think of 101 reasons why you have to. Because again, if you don't take care of yourself, nobody will. Your students need you, but you're not going to be any good to them if you aren't loving yourself first. And I know you hear this, but I hope you really hear this. Because the best part, even though escaping to a tropical island is pretty incredible in itself, the best part was how it changed me once I came back to reality, back to my classroom. And that's what people don't talk about, how filled with sunshine and happiness you feel after you've given yourself this incredible gift of peace and quiet in our crazy, busy world. And you won't believe how much more patient, how much more loving, and how much happier you'll actually be with your students once you start doing this more regularly for yourself. So to help you get started, I've created a freebie for you. That's a download you can save on your phone or on your computer. And it's a simple, what I like to call five minute field trip for teachers that you can use to escape and decompress whenever you feel yourself going into overwhelm. So, and this time in the freebie, we rest in another one of my favorite places in my imagination, a gorgeous lush forest where you can find peace and rejuvenation. Seriously, it's like a trip to the mind spa. It's awesome to use this during your lunch hour if you can to help you to recharge in the middle of the day, but 
It's also great to use if you have a spare or a prep period or even at recess if you aren't on supervision. But wherever you use it, the important thing for you is to start right away because you deserve this. So I really encourage you. I hope you'll go ahead and do this for yourself. I know it's the hardest thing in the world to do, but I want you to last in this profession. I don't want you to become one of those statistics that, you know, you just do as much as you possibly can for as long as you possibly can until you completely just lose it because you can't handle it anymore. I want you to stay in this amazing profession. So you can grab this freebie on my website at drlauriefriesen.com and I'll link it, I'll link to it in the show notes. And by the way, I'd love to hear ways that you've managed to reduce your overwhelm as a teacher, because every time you post an idea, you really can help somebody else. And that's part of my goal here in this podcast. I want to give you a space to share and to help each other. So please share your ideas for how you reduce overwhelm, because we'd love to hear them. We all could use more of that. And of course, don't miss episode number three next week because I'm going to teach you some awesome tricks for how you can use five minute field trips in your classroom with your students in some super cool and creative ways. But don't just skip to that. Honestly, download this one first, try it yourself and really get the benefits of it. Really understand what the benefits are here for you because once you've experienced it, it'll be, I know you're always wanting to jump to just helping your students and giving your students something and doing something really cool with your kids. But do this for yourself first, please just try it and really let yourself get filled up in the middle of the day. It's the most amazing experience. Okay. I hope you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to share more with you soon. Bye for now.